Alan Kay down on the street for Van Watch Day 92. Back to you in the studio. Mazda shows off its latest ode to nature, Hyundai goes for more tuner cred, and a story of two spiders haunts the online. I'm Alex Gazella, and this is Fast Lane Daily. Alex Gazella, Fast Lane Daily, always fresh, always fresh, every day. So we begin today with a scoop from the UK's car magazine. The Across the Pond mag published the very first shots of Honda's upcoming dedicated hybrid model. It's the Insight 2 concept, a sequel to the company's Insight Hybrid introduced in 1999. Carr says the Insight 2 is a concept version of the company's new global hybrid, a car Honda says will be the world's cheapest gas electric hybrid ever. Carr had no additional details on the Insight 2, but specs will likely be forthcoming later this week, ahead of the new hybrid's debut in Paris this October. Mazda may have lost chief designer Franz von Holthausen. Okay, no, 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 guys. That's Dennis Franz von Holthausen. <laughs> Jeez, get it right. Anyway, Mazda's not giving up on its nature theme styling direction. Earlier today, Mazda released the first images of its latest concept car. Mazda calls its new prototypical urban mini car Kiora. In Japanese, that means clean and pure, and that's a theme Mazda says signifies the harmony between driving pleasure, the environment, and safety. The Cura continues Mazda's organically inspired design approach introduced with the Nagare concept, and it's the latest in a series of show cars extending the theme, including the Hakaze and Furai concepts. Mazda says the Cura is based on an all-new small car platform showcasing the company's latest weight-saving technologies, and it features a new four-cylinder direct injection engine with hybrid-like stop-start technology. The Cura will make its three-dimensional debut at the Paris Auto Show next month. Honda is gunning for tuner cred with its new Genesis Coupe. The company released a teaser image this week spotlighting one of its upcoming two-door rear-drive models modded by noted tuner HKS. And HKS Genesis will be one of two tweaked-out coupes set to debut at this year's SEMA aftermarket show in Las Vegas. Earlier this year, we reported on the first one, the Rees Millen Art of Speed Genesis. That Genesis will get drifting-inspired mods including a black and silver paint scheme, wide body kit and carbon fiber wing, along with undisclosed performance work to the 2-liter turbocharged inline 4. The HKS Genesis will get add-ons like a GT turbo kit, HKS intake system, engine management software, and the company's fully adjustable suspension. Both cars will debut this November at SEMA's annual Sin City gathering of aftermarket parts, junkies, flunkies, and guys that look like this. Hmm. A rash Farbood isn't done spending his family's pharmaceutical fortune on a high-performance dream. Once blocked from buying a Ferrari Enzo, Farbood set out to build a supercar with his own name on it. Now, the UK's car magazine reports a new Farbood supercar could be in production by this fall. It's the AF10, a 2,600-pound two-seater powered by the same LS7 found in the Corvette Z06. The works 7 liter V8 will reportedly produce 530 horsepower and it'll pair up with a 6 speed manual gearbox by UK motorsports supplier Graziano. Farbood says the AF10 will get a carbon fiber chassis and no word yet on a release date, but prospective buyers can expect to pay around 300 grand for an AF10. Well, next up, twin spiders from Ferrari. That's in the internet rumor mail right after this. Subscribing costs nothing. Daily, not monthly. And our cars actually move. Fastlane Daily is fast and fresh and here to stay. Do you love Fastlane Daily? Love your TV? Well, now you can TiVo your FLD fix so it can be fast and fresh whenever you want it. Too much of a computer nerd to use a TV? Well, no problem. We're on YouTube and VO2, so go check us out right now. So, what comes from Italy, has 12 legs, and has an SPF rating of zero? Yes, two Ferrari Spiders. Rumors came down this week about the prancing horses, latest drop tops in the pipeline. Spider Exhibit A is a version of the 503 horsepower Ferrari Scuderia. Autoblog.it says the roofless version of the stripped down road and track star is on the way. Insiders insinuate the Scuderia Spider could get a weight increase of around 150 pounds and that it'll showcase the first use of Ferrari's new 7-speed dual clutch transmission outside of the new California GT. 
Autoblog.it says we can expect the wraps to come off the Scuderia Spider at the Ferrari World Challenge in Mugello this November. Spider Exhibit B is this prototype 599 GTB convertible recently spotted in the Netherlands. Autoblog.nl says Ferrari will likely have a press release on the new 599 GTB Spider ahead of an official reveal later this year. And finally, we know Germany's Autobahn has some of the smoothest tarmac this side of the Bahrain Grand Prix. And that makes it perfect for skateboarding. A German daredevil recently videotaped himself hitting speeds of up to 60 miles per hour on the Autobahn. Police in Germany are looking for the man who donned an aerodynamic helmet and grabbed hold of a motorcycle to get up to speed on his longboard. Well, the man faces charges of interfering with traffic safety, endangering motorists, and being completely bat insane while wearing spandex. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. I'm Alex Gazella, and I will see you later.